Hello and welcome to the video about what's new in BMC Remedy Force 2015-01. In this video, you will learn about the following new features. The dashboard and quick views in the Remedy Force console, enhancements to the BMC Remedy Force mobile application on the Salesforce One platform, general availability of BMC Remedy Force chat with multiple enhancements, a new report and dashboards, data migration from one Salesforce organization to another, automation of processes in BMC Remedy Force by using web services, enhancements to Remedy Force console service level agreements and service request definitions, and other general enhancements. Let's take a look at the dashboard and quick views in the Remedy Force console. The dashboard and quick views in the Remedy Force console enable staff members to view a consolidated list of all their assigned records. System administrators can configure a default dashboard for the Remedy Force console. The first time staff members access the My Dashboard tab in the Remedy Force console, they can view this default dashboard. The quick views enable you to view a list of all your assigned records and other key data. You can view a set of predefined quick views that are provided out of the box or shared by the other users. For example, Quick views can provide information that you need daily, such as the tasks assigned to you or your queue, the high priority incidents that must be resolved first. If your system administrator has enabled the setting based on your requirements, you can create your own new quick view. The next enhancement is for BMC Remedy Force mobile application on the Salesforce One platform. You can now manage tasks by using the BMC Remedy Force mobile application on the Salesforce One platform. From the BMC Remedy Force mobile application, you can now perform actions on task records. You can view a record's action history, add notes, send email messages, and close a record. From the BMC Remedy Force mobile application, you can now perform additional actions on the incident records. You can perform knowledge search, view a record's action history, create and link a task to an incident, and view the service targets that are applied to an incident record. You can now search for knowledge articles and link them to incidents by copying the knowledge article text or knowledge article link to the resolution field of an incident record. With the version 2015-01, BMC announces the general availability of multiple features for BMC Remedy Force Chat. Based on your requirements, you can configure BMC Remedy Force Chat to be available to all self-service client accounts or to selected accounts. You can also configure the pre-chat form by using which the customers can select a category related to their query. If you enable the pre-chat form, you must enable the categories for Remedy Force Chat. After you enable the categories for BMC Remedy Force Chat, you must configure the suggested owners for the categories enabled. In this case, when a client initiates a chat, the chat is assigned to the staff member who is configured as a suggested owner. You can also enable none of the above as a category so the client's query can be assigned to a general pool of staff members who are not assigned as suggested owners. Clients can select a category, enter a brief description and initiate a chat. The chat is assigned to a staff member based on the category selected. Clients can also send attachments to staff members during a chat. An attachment cannot exceed 10 megabytes. After a chat ends, staff members must create a new incident or link the chat to an existing incident. A new predefined chat report and two new dashboards are available in BMC Remedy Force 2015-01. A new BMC Remedy Force chat report called Chat Sessions by Account and Category is available on the Reports tab. The report lists lifecycle events related to chat sessions. The new BMC Remedy Force chat dashboard provides six out-of-the-box reports related to chat sessions. You can view various reports about chat sessions by account and category. The new BMC Remedy Force CMDB dashboard provides 16 out-of-the-box reports that show the health of your CMDB. System administrators can migrate data from one Salesforce organization to another by using the Pentaho packages that are provided on BMC Community's website. You can use the Pentaho packages to migrate data from categories, templates, 
request definitions, service level agreements, quick views, and basic configurations that include status, impact, urgency, and priority. For example, you can use the Pentaho package to migrate configuration data from a sandbox organization to your production organization. System administrators can call external web services when certain configured events occur in BMC Remedy Force. For example, a service request being created or a task being created from a template occur in BMC Remedy Force. For example, system administrators can configure to call a custom web service written for Microsoft Active Directory server to change the password of a user. BMC Remedy Force supports web services of the representational state transfer type and the simple object access protocol type. Next, we'll look at the enhancements to the Remedy Force console. If the enable creation of clients from the incident page in Remedy Force console checkbox is selected on the user settings page, staff members can add clients from the incident form. The next enhancement for the Remedy Force console is linking incidents as parent or child. When searching for matching incidents, staff members can link the matching incidents as children or as parent of the incident record. With the next enhancement, in the list views of any module, staff members can search within all records that belong to the selected module or within the filtered view. To search only within the filtered view, staff members must select the search within the filtered view checkbox. Next, we'll look at the enhancements made to the service level agreements. The pause duration of a cancelled service target is now used to calculate the elapsed time of a new service target that is applied to an incident, a task or a problem. The next enhancement enables you to configure specific support hours for a client's account by using the new support hours field on the account form. The support hours that you configure can be used to override the service target support hours. Next, we will look at the enhancements made to the service request definitions or SRDs. On the Getting Started tab, you can view a step-by-step -step guide for creating an SRD. This tab provides information about the settings that the users must configure before creating an SRD, an overview of the instructions to create an SRD, and a link to verify the status of the SRD. With the next enhancement, you can display sorted values in the picklist type of input field of an SRD. When a client creates a service request by using that SRD, the values in the picklist type of field are sorted based on the configurations that you perform. To display specific and relevant records in a lookup type of input field in an SRD, system administrators can create filters for the lookup type of input field. Now, let's take a look at some of the general enhancements in BMC Remedy Force 2015-01. A new Pentaho package is provided on the BMC community's website. It enables system administrators to import configuration items and relationships of computer system CIs from BMC Atrium Discovery. With the next enhancement, you can configure multiple email addresses to be displayed in the from field of an email message. You can also configure the availability of each email address for selected profiles. This feature is also available for Remedy Force mobile application on the Salesforce One platform. The next enhancement is about configuring lookup filters for self-service. By selecting the Apply in Self-Service checkbox, you can configure lookup filters on the incident object that are applied when a client has raised a ticket in self-service. The next enhancement is about searching for a configuration. You can search for a setting or configuration by using keywords on the Remedy Force Administration tab. With the next enhancement, you can run the new license metrics report to generate a list of users to whom the Remedy Force package license is assigned. The next enhancement is the common data model. The CMDB common data model provides information about the out-of-the-box classes under the base element class. You can click a class to view the attributes that are available for a particular class. For more information about these enhancements, refer to the online documentation. Thank you for watching.